Hello and welcome to this video on the topic of theory of machines. In this video we will study about the topic of degree of freedom or mobility. Degree of freedom can be abbreviated as DOF and mobility will be abbreviated as capital M. Now let's start this video by defining what degree of freedom is. Now it is defined as the number of independent parameters parameters or we can also call them as measurements so I mean the number of independent parameters or measurements that are needed to uniquely define the position of a mechanism or a mechanical system in space and at any instant of time so how many parameters or how many uh, variables you need to define a system that is known as your degree of freedom now to illustrate it a bit more let me draw a diagram in front of you now this is a plain sheet of paper okay this sheet of paper has two axes on it you have x axis and y axis now in on this plain sheet of paper you have a pencil drawn this is a pencil which is drawn on this plain sheet of paper now this pencil is constrained or limited to stay on the paper it cannot move out of the paper okay so I will need three coordinates to define the position of this pencil the first coordinate is x the second coordinate is y x uh, y coordinate and the third coordinate is the angular position of the pencil with respect to horizontal so if you want to define the position of this pencil on this plain piece of paper then we need three coordinates x y and the angular position theta this means that if you have a rigid body in plane so if you have a rigid body in a plane motion or a planar motion then you will have three degrees of freedom if we have a rigid body in a planar motion this will give you three degrees of freedom okay that would be two linear coordinates and one angular coordinate theta with respect to horizontal or vertical axis now if this pencil if this pencil were to exist in a 3d dimension okay so where you had x y and z axis so if this pencil were to exist in a 3d world then there will be six degrees of freedom 6 means you will have 3 linear coordinates x, y and z and you will have 3 angles theta, phi and rho so 3 linear coordinates and 3 angular coordinates that define the position of a system or a mechanism in a 3D space this brings us to another conclusion that a rigid body a rigid body in three dimensions will have six degrees of freedom so the, these are two facts that we need to remember a rigid body in a planar motion will have three DOFs and a rigid body in a 3D space will have six DOFs now if you want your mechanism uh, mechanism designed to be simple and free from any complexities then it is desirable to have one degree of freedom but obtaining degree of freedom as one and to get the desired amount of motion output from your mechanism it is not always practically possible to get one degree of freedom and yet a practical mechanism so this is just a theoretical wish that we have in order to have 
a simplistic design okay so this is just something we desire that we should have as simple design as possible by keeping just one degree of freedom okay 